You're watching She Where I Live, and this is one of the very first looks at the brand new Rock Island Armory BBR 3.10. <laughs> Welcome back to my office everybody my name is Joe and I'm so excited to be here today to give you one of the very first looks at a brand new product from Rock Island Armory the BBR 3.10 this is an extremely compact, the smallest 45 ACP that Rock Island Armory offers, and it's 10 plus one. I do have to let you guys know this is not actually available until October 1st of 2019. I was lucky enough to get one of the very few that went out across the country to do a T&E for, and man, I'll tell you what, this thing is slick. You got your standard 1911 style frame, G10 grips, combat style sights, fixed rear adjustable, fiber optic front, extended beaver tail, skeletonized hammer, skeletonized trigger. Unfortunately for you lefties, I'm sorry, it is not ambi. Your safety is only on the left side, but it's a very nice safety. I can tell you that. It's a very positive, very easy to work. And this thing is just absolutely slick. It's very easy to take down. Uh, you don't need a special tool like on a normal 1911. With this, it's much more like your standard compact pistols of today. You've got a little notch right here. And all you have to do is bring that back and line it up here to your, the front of your slide lock. And on this side, you'll see this little nub. When you have this lined up, you just press that nub this comes out we'll go ahead and set this aside and your slide comes right off we'll go ahead and set the frame aside for a moment so then all you do is you take your spring out there's a small housing right here that slides into the frame that the spring slides into as you can see there that piece comes out your barrel slides right out and you're done you just clean it and then reverse that process barrel in housing spring this can get a little bit touchy sometimes getting that back in there went back in there nice and smooth this time get your frame slide it on and you got to make sure that when you slide this on here that everything lines up in this hole There we go. Slide your slide lock back through there. Line that notch up again. Push that in and you're done. Ready to rock and roll. So let's take a quick look at this and how it comes in the box. You get a nice sturdy Rock Island Armory plastic pistol case with locks in case you ever maybe need to travel with the case on a plane you can use this to lock it up and carry your firearm in there it is we're going to move that just for a second take a look underneath user manual your test casings and your lock now the fun stuff all right this is your bbr 3.10 and your two 10 round magazines and that is what it looks like all packaged up let's get to the fun this thing is slick and these grips man if you're in a self-defense situation whether your hands are wet or not you are not going to have a problem with grips on these things. These G10 grips, along with these very, very aggressive checkering on the back strap and on the front, you're going to know it. And I, I'll tell you this too, if you're out on a range day 
and you're spending an extended period of time shooting this without gloves on, you're gonna feel it because these are very aggressive. Uh, and it's a good thing though, they're a good aggressive. They're, it's not a bad aggressive. Uh, the only thing that I've noticed shooting a little bit is because this is so compact and you really have your hand right up in there, you do get a little bit of rub from the safety here on the back uh, into your knuckle, depending on, on your grip. Some of you are going to be like, hey, I've seen a pistol like that before. Well, because you have. Back in the day, Pair Ordnance made uh, a compact 1911 like this that was called the Warthog. Now, Pair Ordnance was purchased by Remington, and I don't know exactly what year the Warthog went out of production. Uh, but it was very similar to the BBR 3.10. If you're not familiar with the BBR series, there's the only other one that's in the series right now is what they call the Baby Rock. That's the industry name for it, and that's the BBR 380. Uh, they wanted to expand that series, and this is what they came up with. The entire frame is Parkerized finished. I'm probably assuming that there will be aftermarket grips for this, uh, these are a very hefty wide grip on here and there will probably be some more slimline grips that come out for it I'm I'm betting uh, the one suggestion that I could personally make is for Rock Island Armory to either get with Metgar since they make the magazines these are the magazines here produced by Metgar steel magazines with of course your polymer base and of course, those are 10 round magazines. My suggestion is that Rock Island Armory gets with Metgar and does a 12 or 13 round extended magazine so that you can actually get a full grip on here. So that number one, you don't have uh, this checkering, this aggressive checkering uh, and this edge slamming into the palm of your hand. Plus you have your uh, pinky a full size grip with your pinky uh, or any company that makes aftermarket magazines or a company out there there's a lot of them that make two plus two or three round extensions i would very highly recommend that it be a full extension though uh, not just a pinky grip extension that it's a, like a plus zero but the pinky extension because that's fine to get you the your your pinky on the grip but you're still going to have this slamming into the palm of your hand but let me tell you why that's not a huge deal your barrel length is 3.15 inches so you'd think that thing is going to be seriously snappy with some serious recoil and it's really not that bad I was really surprised when I was shooting it, and I think that has to do with the all-steel frame that you have. It puts more weight on the front end of the gun and reduces that recoil. That's what I'm attributing it to. I don't really see any other reason why the recoil wouldn't be that bad, uh, but it shoots really nice. It's really comfortable, and it's tiny. I wanted to say a quick thank you to Arms Corps for sending out the ammunition for today's video. It is 45 ACP, 230 grain full metal jackets. If you can't find this at your local retailer, you can pick this up at advancedtactical.com and you can get there by heading to shootridelive.com and the link to that is in the description. So we'll go ahead and take a few shots. Real quick, I wanted to let you know that the weight on this empty is only 1.98 pounds. Very, very light. Uh, the trigger pull on it and i'm going off of specs that were sent to me by rock island armory for the trigger pull uh is about 1.98 kilograms sorry i didn't do the uh conversion to pounds i don't know what that is but i can tell you it's a very nice light trigger also there's very little play the tolerances are very very small it's a very smooth nice slide it just feels like a very well made 1911 style platform Let's shoot it. Man, that feels good. Nice safety. All right.
shots. Very nice. All right, so what I did on those first shots, it, I noticed that I was hitting probably just a little bit low left. So I went ahead and I adjusted the windage and the elevation on the adjustable rear sight. Hopefully we're a little bit more on. Let's just go ahead and put some rounds through it and see how it shoots. So those three shots were me. I was pulling it down. But uh, as you can see, that other shot, dead center. Well, maybe you can see. I don't know if you can see or not. Shoots very nice. Load them up, shoot some more. You are gonna notice on these magazines that that last round, it's a bear to get in there. Uh, but I'm sure that's something that'll loosen up over time. I'm about 200 rounds in so far. Uh, I've had no problems whatsoever. No hangups, no stove pipes, no failure to feeds, no failure to extracts. Everything has run really well and smooth. As you can probably see there, getting a little bit of a blood blister and that's just from the safety here riding that spot depending on if you have gloves or what size hands you have you may have that problem you may not have that problem i don't know for me this wouldn't be an extended period of time shooting you know some practice shooting if i was going to carry this as an edc this is a smoking little gun though you guys if you want a compact 10 plus one uh, 1911 style pistol, man, it shoots, it, it's great. No problems with it whatsoever so far. Uh, shooting wise, of course, again, there's just this, not really that big a deal anyways to me. Let's go ahead and put some more rounds through it. I really do love the trigger on this. It's very smooth. I like it a lot. <sighs> First issue. And I can almost bet it is not the gun's fault. I rode the slide lock on that one. That was all me. All right, this time I'm just gonna take some one-handed shots, strong hand and weak hand, see how we do. Boy, not so good on that little gong, huh? That's all right. That's my weekend. All right, I wanna thank you guys so much for coming here. This thing is awesome. 
$7.99 MSRP, you're probably going to be able to find it for around $6.50 to $7.50 depending on the area that you live in. That's a guess of course, I don't know, but again, it will not be until October 1st, 2019. We're in August right now, so we have a little bit of time to wait. Thank you so much Rock Island Armory for sending this out to me to be one of the very first people to shoot it and review it. I really appreciate that. And you guys, it's really cool. You should really take a look at it if you can. Nice and smooth trigger, smooth slide. Uh, it just functions great. I really like it. I think you guys will enjoy it, especially you 1911 guys. You'll probably enjoy it a lot. Thank you so much for hanging out with She Where I Live taking a first look at the BBR 3.10. Check me out at shootridelive.com. The link to that's in the description. You'll find some other links to my other videos there. You'll find links to things that can help support Shoot Ride Live to make future content and links to other things that I reviewed. I appreciate all of you. Thanks for stopping by. My name is Joe and I'm out.